Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will here from Union Pacific Omaha and boy oh boy do I have an update for you guys today. So much so that I'm going to make two updates so I don't squeeze everything into one video. So starting off, I've had a plethora of roster changes in the past oh, month or so. I've gotten quite a few new locomotives in. I've gotten rid of some. Things have just been moving around like crazy. So Let's get going here. So I obviously, to this being filmed on a Sunday, which I don't know when this will be updated or uploaded, sorry. Um, yesterday um, was the 17th, maybe something like that, uh, of Saturday. And that was the uh, Lincoln, well, it's going on today too, but the train show in Lincoln. So I picked up some stuff there. Um, not all of this is from here. We'll go over that in a minute, but let's get started. So first... Um, I've had this for a little bit. I haven't run it much and I haven't made a video on it yet. I picked up off eBay a UP Atlas B40-8 with sound. Um, it is a little quiet and I'm not really a fan of that. It's kind of disappointing almost how quiet it is. So, and it has, it's got lock sound and everything. It sounds just like you're a scale trains unit, um, but it's quiet. So, um, in the future, it's definitely going to need a speaker upgrade because yeah, way too quiet, but a uh, great unit. Sounds amazing though. Um, yeah, um, I paid way too much for this. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to say what, but I paid way too much for this thing. They're just kind of hard to find. So that's kind of why I paid the price. But yeah, great unit. Um, this will definitely be in some operating sessions soon to come. All right. Secondly, now this, um, I'm not going to lie. I got scammed on this. As you can see in the background, there's it's Spock. It's an old, gen it's an older Genesis. Um, it's a UP SD 70 I'm not going to lie. I got scammed. Guys said it was DCC sound. Um, brought it home, tried to run it. Um, motor was extremely loud. Um, it has no sound. It, all it has is a horn, which sounds crappy. The headlights barely worked. So I said, how's the train today? I'm like, you know what? Let's just make this thing a dummy, please. Um, and I let them keep the decoder and headlights. And they're like, yeah, well, we can do that for free then. So I was like, oh, awesome. So got a good deal there. Um, this thing is weathered. So yeah, you can see I had to re-glue this piece that was on. So it is weathered. So that is nice. Um, not crazy weather, but it's a nice locomotive to have trailing on trains. So glad to add that to the collection. All right, next locomotive, which was also at House of Trains today, and I could not pass it up. Not going to lie, I thought this was a Genesis when I first saw it. It's not. It's a uh, Proto 2000 UP SD60M. Um, this thing is very heavy, heavier than my scale trains units. Um, it pulls well, apparently. Um, it is standard, just DC, but it was so detailed and such a good-looking model, and I have wanted to sd 60 m for a while. Could not pass it up. So, yes, I decided to buy it. It was 55 bucks. I could not say no to that. So I picked this one up. Have yet to run it, but I'm looking forward to using this. Eventually, I'll probably get DCC. Maybe not sound, since it is pretty old, but yeah. And uh, Mickey there said uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain to do all that. I'd have to drop it off, and it would take him a couple hours. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to hassle you through that. Let's just not worry about it today. So, yeah. All right. What I also picked up at the show is I picked up some of these uh, co-op hoppers. I got one of each that I thought were cool. So I have the Kelmley, Iowa co-op uh, co car, which these are still in service, and I see these somewhat commonly on UP. I saw one last weekend. Um, but yeah, these are on UP manifests in the Midwest pretty often. So you can still find these. So yeah, got that. And these, these were all 15 bucks each. So um, I asked him, I tried to buy three and I'm like, it would have been 45. I'm like, how about let's do 40? He was not dropping his price one bit on these since they're pretty hard to find. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to lose these over five bucks. So eventually I ended up buying um, four because I didn't see the other one that I I thought was a different look wasn't a different location but it was so yeah and then i got a sutton nebraska one sutton is and my dog's barking um sutton i believe is east of uh hastings by about 30 or 40 miles maybe maybe less maybe more but yeah um this is on the bnsf hastings sub and i've been close there haven't quite been there yet but yeah 
Uh, and then obviously I've been here plenty, seen trains here plenty. Waverly, Nebraska co-op car, couldn't pass on that either. So yeah. And then the last one I got here, uh, which is a little bit of a different style, uh, a little bit bigger. Forget what the design on these is, Gunderson, whatever. Uh, this is Hemingford, Nebraska. Um, Sam Broderson told me, I don't know, I don't even know where that is. He said it, I want to say he said it's north of Alliance. So I decided to pick this one up as well. So yeah, so I got four new grain cars. So now I can run an old uh, style grain train, which will be cool. And this Waverly one desperately needs new wheels and I don't have any extra sets right now. So yeah, like, here, I'll try to show the camera. These things are very worn out and they have crap all over them. Um, and I tried cleaning them and it really didn't do anything. So yeah, they make quite a bit of noise when rolling. Which I know this is a rough surface, but yeah. Um, they are very worn out and I need to get a new set of them. So yeah, that's that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.